You are still deciding. Come back later. Deciding? Deciding, dude. I, dude, I want to buy something. I mean, like, I mean, can I, can I, can I please have like a fucking a customer? Or Welcome. Paying customers only. I, I, I want to pay you. Just, can I, can I have like an orange or? Actually, can I have a little water? Paying customers only. You know what? You know I accept my money? Leave me alone! Make the best of it, he says. What? Adam, I finally decrypted the audio off the whisper chip tap. Fucking cold, man. You gotta hear it. I have my hands full right now. Tell me where you are and I'll come when I can. There's an old limb clinic in the Davney district. It's closed down. Nobody goes there anymore. I'll be inside. Hey, how's it going? Do you have the scan? Yeah, it's right here. You're a lifesaver, Adam. <coughs> Seriously, Miller was in a foul mood when he left here. I don't need to give him another excuse to chew me out. He left? Where'd he go? Didn't ask, didn't think he wanted me to know. Did those state police jerks give you any grief? It's like you said, they shot first, so I took care of it. Oh, uh, okay. Good. They had it coming. So what's on the scan? Oh, that. I have no idea. What? You told me you found something, something big. I didn't say I knew what it was, Adam. I said it was something that could blow this case wide open. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm not buying this whole arc did it angle. I believe what the evidence tells me. This DSD has all the answers we need, from the chemical makeup of the explosive used down to the material in the victim's clothing. I'm sure of it. Okay, so how long until we're all sure of it? Oh, it'll take hours to sift through the data, and, and I'm seeing Sonya later to apologize for any issues I may have caused with the state police. Uh, plus, I do have other cases to work on too, Adam. I'll let you know if I, when, I find something. You do that. Take it easy. Okay, yeah, dude, dude, I realize I have a tendency to just shoot people for, like, minor things, but... I wouldn't. I'm not. I'm not gonna shoot you. You're not. You're. You're kind of. You're kind of important to everything around here. And you're also kind of funny to me, anyway. All right. Talk to this bitch. Adam, I'm Delaro Zen. I appreciate you coming in to speak with me. And well, I know you're probably getting this from everyone today, but I need to ask. Are you okay? I've seen footage from the train station, but being there must have... Is that what this is about? No, that was sympathy. This is a standard agent health interview to determine combat readiness. Here, I got you this from the dispensary. You got me neuropazine? Look, Doc, I was caught off guard by a terrorist attack. Might have knocked some things out of whack, but it doesn't mean my body's gonna start rejecting my augments. True. But traumatic experiences can kick a hornet's nest into the immune system. In patients with neuroprosthetics... Would you believe me if I told you my body doesn't reject mechanical implants? <laughs> no. But my policy is for straight talk only in the room, so if you want me to believe that you're some kind of medical miracle, I guess I'll have to go with it. Please, have a seat. I've been looking over your file. There's some very interesting history here. Mind if we take a trip down memory lane? Is this gonna take long? It says here that you were with Detroit SWAT, but left in 26 to head up Seraph Industries Security Division. David Seraph was at the center of America's augmentation debate. Yeah, I don't think that's... I don't think that's bad enough that... No, I shouldn't tell her about that. David Seraph always attracted a lot of controversy. Yes, I've seen some of his interviews. A firm believer in human enhancement technologies. I wonder if the incident changed his view? Certainly didn't seem that way on the day. You were with him then? In Panchea? When the incident happened? Uh, 
Okay, let's not talk about that. I don't remember. They tell me they pulled me out of the ocean, but a year of my life is still a blur. Your memories may come back eventually. And if they do, my door is always open. Should you need to discuss anything. I won't, but thanks. You are very lucky to be alive. Although I'm not so sure the world you've returned to makes you feel that way. You've become the enemy, which... Actually leads me to my next question. So far, no one's claimed responsibility for the attack at Rizika. But, with the human restoration boat coming... Well, it's no secret Prague has become the symbol of legalized augmented oppression. And the Augmented Rights Coalition is camped at its back door, trying to expose and resist it. Most of the world thinks of them as terrorists. Augmented terrorists. If it turns out they are guilty, well, being augmented yourself... How am I gonna feel? Yeah, yeah, this is kind of a complex issue here. By that I mean I have like an entire spiel planned for like how I think about what I think about like this whole debate slash thing. What, whatever the fuck you want to call it. I have a thing planned. Or a minimum of this answer gives is like close to what I think about it. This isn't about Augs versus Naturals, Delara. This is about terrorism. And in my book, there's no excuse for the taking of innocent lives. No matter the reason. So if Talus Wrecker ordered his people to do this, then... It's my job to bring him in. Not to judge whether he's guilty or innocent. Well, look, I think it's safe to say that you have all your faculties about you. I'll let the Director know that I'm officially clearing you for the field. Well, it's probably best if I get back to work, Doc. I'll see you around. I'll just buy that. By God, Jensen, I heard about the explosion. Okay. We should Dang relocate. It. I was thinking we could corner Director Miller together. Tell him, tell him it's just, it's not safe enough here. We're fine, Chang. The police station, the train station, we're next. I can feel it. I can more than feel it. I can see it happening. No one knows where we are. There's no reason to get paranoid. That's where you're wrong. They're trying to pull the lid off of us, Jensen, or someone is. Praha Dovos just got hacked. Our building's front company. Thought it was fake. I wish it was fake. Miller's got me cleaning up in telecam footage from the attack to help figure out who these people are. Meanwhile, maybe they're trying to figure out who we are? Why else poke into an import company? You think someone's figured out that the company's a front? Maybe they know what's really down here. We have a lot of enemies. The people who bombed the train station, you don't think they'd love to know where we are? You need to help me figure out who's looking into us and make them stop. All right, you have any leads? I traced our hacker Snoop to an unrented apartment. Top floor, 33 Halavni, just down the street. This guy walks by us every single day, probably walks in. You're kidding. See? You feel it now. The constant buried alive feeling? Correct me if I'm wrong, but I thought we were supposed to be suspicious of things that go on outside these walls. It's never that simple. Just get into that apartment, access the computer they used, and find out what you can. And be careful, Jensen. We don't know who we're dealing with. Don't look into it. As soon as I know something, so will you. I probably should have asked for more information about that. <laughs> didn't get held up at a checkpoint or something, did you? I'm inside the clinic waiting for you. 
Sorry, Alex. I'll be there as soon as I can. Hope you're not losing sight of what's important here. Sorry, this place just brings back memories. Don't take too long. Yeah, there's just one thing I kind of thought about this. Like, I mean, what? I mean, you know, someone could totally just open this door, like, Can while I'm down there. And, like, the floor is just gonna be gone. Like, isn't that kind of gonna raise a red flag? I mean, especially if, like, that one guy is actually coming in the building, like he says. I'm gonna talk with her first, and then we're gonna clear up that. make it. Any trouble getting away? Miller's been giving me some leeway, but not much. I did survive a terror attack. You and me both. God, sometimes I really hate the city. It used to welcome people like us, go out of its way to entice Oggs to live here. This clinic was built because Prague saw us as its future. Now, look at it. Times change, Alex. I know, trust me, even got the scars to prove it. You're a valuable asset. The Collective could have sent you anywhere. Why Prague? You really need to ask? Ever since the incident, paranoia and racism are eating the city alive. The whole world's watching just to see how Prague handles its AUG problem. Didn't realize the entire Collective was pro-AUG. Not everyone is. But we all know our real enemies need chaos to operate in. Play the right chord, pull the right string, and Prague has plenty of that. We've been working together for a few months now. I still don't know much about you. What, you trolling for my secrets now? Just the good ones. How did you join the Juggernaut Collective? Well, they got me out of a tough spot. Before the incident. I was working for Bell Tower flying VIPs around Panama, and I stumbled into something big. Something very important people didn't want anyone to know about. So, they ordered Bell Tower to kill me. Janus warned you? Got you out? A friend of Janus's. Someone in the Collective who used to work for Bell Tower, too. You don't mess with these people, Adam. Not by yourself. I learned that the hard way. You said we got something? Yeah, listen to this. A little heads up would have been nice. Sending your team to Dubai was my call, but now we need to go by the book. Focus on Ark. You want me to pin all of this on them? The bombings in Prague, the break-in at Veselife, and Dubai? Officially, all five attacks involved augmented terrorists. Is that clear? Yes, sir. But send me the reports if you want me to prove it. Because ARC don't operate in North America. They're setting up ARC, Adam. They sent you into that ambush in Dubai, and now they want to pin everything on the Augmented Rights Coalition. I told you Miller was dirty. Sounds to me like Miller's following orders. It also sounds like he's not happy about it. All right, whatever. Maybe he's just a stooge. You can't say the same about the man he's talking to. His boss, Joseph Manderley. Director of TF-29 operations worldwide. The only person at Interpol higher than him is the General Secretariat. We need to play this smart, Alex. Think about what we heard. What was that bit about Versa Life? You mean the break-in that never happened? Yeah, I started digging into that right after I decrypted the conversation. What'd you find? Like I said, man, it's the break-in that never happened. Versalife is one of the biggest pharma companies on the planet. The only one still manufacturing neuropazine. If it got broken into, it would have been big news. So why are they saying it did? Versalife doesn't produce just neuropazine. They've got a huge research and development division. Yeah? So? What does that have to do with ARC? Why frame them for break-in? They want them to look like terrorists. I guess it depends on what they'll say was stolen. See what the Collective can dig up. 
If this really is a conspiracy, that break-in will be the threat to pull on. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna finish my investigation. Find out who really bombed the station. I'll let you know what I turn up. Same here. Good luck, Adam. Miller, uh, you know we still going to Gollum City? You are. Meet me at Kopecky's puppet shop. Your pilot's en route. I'll brief you there. Copy that. Then up to Theris Apart. This all be done. Anyway, so like I was gonna say, uh, you know, I think I'm not nine percent certain that Miller is. Fuck! You look like a top end model, all shiny and smooth. Let's see what you have. Fucking checkpoints. I'm guessing that someone important is footing the bill, right? Some sugar daddy, maybe. No time for your I, bullshit. Well, I guess they did not program you with a sense of humor. Look at this like. Let's see what you have. It's actually ironic that it's kind of funny. We just said uh, you must not have a sense of humor, yet me. Don't think I even have the right part. All right, why? Well, why well, I'm still capable of putting a coherent thought here? Like, yeah, I think Miller is in on it. At the same time, I kind, I kind of want to get him on our side. I do. I'll focus on this one. But if just want to squat. Comes another oh. one. <laughs> He's still here. Well, I thought he was using it. Tebe být těžký. Tohle město nebylo nikdy přívětivý, ale teď? <laughs> Nechápu, jak to zvládat. I just... I've just learned to draw it out. Come on in. Weapons for sale. This is as good as mine. This is Eliza Cassano, reporting to you live. Come on. I sell to... You have credits? Usually you people with the robot arms and legs have no credits. Well, you got a real way with people. What's on the menu? Menu? <laughs> no, 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 not food. Guns and things. You want? If you're trying to be secretive about that, you're kind of failing miserably. Yeah, I guess he wasn't. I'm sorry, something look wrong with this picture to you here? Like, I... Magnus of the rifle. How much did the grenade launch itself or not worth it? Yeah. <sighs> 
Worth it. <laughs> ah, good choice, huh? Maybe later. Go! Go! Waste my time! Yep. What? I'm wasting your time, dude. I just bought a fuck. I just bought a grenade launcher ammo <laughs> from you. What else do you want? Yeah, well, I mean, it's probably more money. Usually, that would kill me. What did you do that for? I'm protecting the real people in the building. I could use it. Why am I going through all the stairs on this side? Nah, oh. don't feel like it. Hey, you are fucking terrible at you are fucking terrible. Dude, you have, like, no taste of the core. You don't even have any of the core. Has this guy been, like, just evicted or, like, is Chang, I think I have something on our secret admirer. Group called Samus Dad. Mean anything to you? You mean those conspiracy nuts? Very bad for business. How much do they know? Not sure. Good news is I got an exact location. Find out whatever you can, what they know, what they want. If they blow the task force's cover, it's only a matter of time before someone blows up the task force. Don't worry, Che. I don't want the walls coming down just yet. I should have stayed in the Everyone is doing it. Why not me? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, sorry about that. Can I, can I at least? He didn't have anything on him. He, he was useless.
ani oddělení se nedá věřit. I'm telling you, I hear whispers in the wall. Don't shoot! <coughs> We're journalists! Who invited the agent type? Who are you? What do you want? Why are you here? You, you here because of the Dubai story? The article about the moon base? The, 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 the clones? The, the clones on the moon base? Who, who sent you? I'm here for Sam's dad. You in charge? I take mm. charge, but I'm not in charge, man. No one owns or detects the truth. Freedom of information is a collective right and the, and the collective responsibility. That said, you gonna break someone's nose, you break my nose. All right, we can start with that if you want. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> we don't have to start with that, do we? <laughs> How about we skip being courageous and move on to why I'm here? Hey, I'm not the one with the problem here, man. So you say whatever you came to say. I'm not listening. It's what I do. Close my eyes and listen to the whispers in the dark. What do you know about Praha Dovos? That little import company? I know there's more than boxes in the basement. We've seen agent types come in and out. The place is a curtain. The first in a series of men. Pull them all back and you'll find them. Tell me I'm wrong. It's a dead end. Right. Guys like you always come down here because of dead ends. Fine. Then what if it's something other people are already looking into? If someone like you makes too much noise, that may compromise any chance they have of uncovering something bigger. Do you understand? <laughs> I'm supposed to believe we're colleagues now? You men in black types, you walk into Pike's newsroom, tell them to be hush-hush about something, and they do it. But that's not how it works here. One day, you will all be exposed. If not by me, then someone just like me. Sammy's dad isn't one voice. K isn't one man. What exactly do you do down here? Sammy's dad is a media uprising. While Pikes panders to corporate tyranny and government bullshit, we pump out the truth. We uncover it, we write it, we publish it. We get our noses broke for it. So you print pamphlets? Well, we do a lot more than that. We got ways of getting into Pikes Media Network. That's how we disseminate information. Information you get by hacking into places you shouldn't. The truth is buried. If digging it up means skirting a few rules, so be it. I need you to stop looking into Prahandovos. But not for the reason you assume. Relax, I get it. 
Man, you don't think I do, but I do. You've got to appease your military industrial masters. We've all been there, man. I'm not who you think I am. The kinds of people who manipulate the news, who cover things up. You don't need to convince me that's who the enemy is. The enemy is anyone who conceals the truth. And that's exactly what you're asking me to do. To pretend like that little import company isn't hiding something. I'm asking you to see a difference between conspiracy and discretion. Between people who hide information in order to push their own agendas, and those who need to stay off the radar in order to do their jobs. You of all people should understand. Okay. Okay, look. You seem like a reasonable guy, huh? Hell, I've usually been punched by now. I find this refreshing. Here's the deal. We promise to forget all about Praha Devos and stay out of your way as long as you give us something better. What do you suggest? The only thing I hate more than secret organizations are toothless media conglomerates who don't hold anyone accountable, who spit lie after lie after lie. So I propose a trade. There are places my people can't get into. You get into one of those places and find me some dirt on the real enemy here. Pikes Media. Do that, and I'll cut whatever you want me to cut. Who knows? Maybe you'll even learn something. You're gonna forget everything you know about Praha Dovos for now. It's the only way you get to protect your ideals. <laughs> Right, because concealing information is obviously the best way to keep people informed. You really think I'm that stupid? There's this word you might want to look up. It's called transparency. It means people have the right to know, no matter what the cost. to something that's even bigger than you imagine, bigger than you can handle. Pull the trigger on it too early and you'll lose it forever. Yeah. Or I sit on it too long and then I lose it anyway. I, I don't know. You always have to keep digging. The, the truth, the real truth, it's a rare fucking bird, man. And if you're too slow or too careful, it fucking flies off. So when I get so much as a hint of truth, I strike when I can, as hard as I can. Whatever the cost, is that it? You want to be better than Pikus, right? But what does Pikus do? They frighten people. They sensationalize the news. They misdirect. If you want to resist them, you need to strive to be objective. You need to deal in truths. And the truth is, putting Braha Dovos under the spotlight right now is dangerous to me and useless to the public. Wait until it's time. Okay. Okay, I get it. I don't want to compromise no one's investigative journalism. Sometimes you move too fast and the real story flies off before you even had a chance to see it. That's not what we do here. So you go break open whatever it is you're breaking open and we'll lay off Praha Dovos. For now. You're making the right choice. We'll see. You know, we could still use your help, though. Journalistic integrity may not mean very much topside, but it still means something down here. And that's why I think you should help us. You're our best shot at hitting the mass media where it hurts. All right, what do you want to know about Pikes? I want skeletons, the kind that companies like Pikes come all the way to Prague just to bury. Corporate archiving, man. Corporate archiving, huh? You asking me to break into a bank? I'm not talking vaults here. Ashani Talvar, the Palisade CEO, she leverages her clients, keeps information about them close at hand. She's got something on Pikes, I know it. I just can't get to it, but I bet you could. You poke into her office, find something that proves how nasty Pikes is, how much they love to piss on the truth, and I promise you this, I'll misplace any file you want. We'll see. Chang, yeah. right? What do you got for me? Took care of Sam's dad. No one's going to be reading anything about us anytime soon. Oh, I'll cancel the movers. How'd you do it? I've reasoned with them. They're not gonna give us any trouble. Reasoned? With the conspiracy nuts. I know what I'm doing.
Maybe you should not have told him about that part. Let's go around. I wish I was beautiful!